Abs is considered to be one of the top rising stars on the Calisthenics Champions Tour. His hard work and dedication to the sport also make him a major contender for an international title. What's so special about it is you use your own body weight. It's no weights, just calisthenics. You, any bar you see you could get on the bar, do a couple pull-ups, only your body weight. If you're feeling stressed, do calisthenics. You know what I mean? It helps you on all that. Like, you stressed out at work, anything. Just do calisthenics and I bet you you'll feel better. He spent the first 20 years of his life in Guyana, living on his own, struggling to survive each day until he moved to Brooklyn, New York and dedicated himself to the Calisthenics Champions Tour, paving the way for a better life. The struggle, where I came from is Guyana. You know what I mean, it's, it's, it's really a struggle over there, how I came over there. You know what I mean? My mom, she lay, she, lay, she leave me there when I was two years old and she came over here to America. And um, yeah, I had to like, I was there by myself from like, like 20 years old, just grinding by myself, like cooking my own food at like the age nine, fetching like water, buckets of water, you know, by myself and just cooking my own food at age of nine, washing my own clothes. And ever since then in Guyana, like I was hungry. And I came to America and I, I'm even more hungry. New York City is like a competition. Everybody is hungry and everybody wanted, you know? So I just gotta get it. Abs now gives back to the community with his foundation, which helps young children with autism throughout New York and the world, something that inspires him each day while training for the CCT. A lot of people look at autism kids like, oh, you know, they're gross, da da da. But I actually see these kids as like, you know, they don't, they don't have nobody to help them, you know what I mean? And that's where I come in. I help these kids, they work, they school work, stuff like that. His workout regimen is second to none on the CCT, and his passion for the tour is another major asset while he contends for a title. All body weight exercise, basically pushing myself up and down, working on my traps. It's basic stuff, gets your body ripped. I mean, you don't, you don't really need weights. We got all it for free. So tell me about this, why don't you need weights? Because look at this, man, it gets your body cut. It takes time, but over the year, your body progresses and you get cut up. That's why. And all I got to do with dieting, too. It's basically pull-ups and isolation of muscle. What I was doing, like 10 pull-ups and I'm holding on top, getting the muscle tense. Makes it harder, too. A lot of hard work and dedication. And the nickname didn't come without extreme sacrifice. They call me abs because I do a thousand sit up a day. That's how I got my name. Like when I first started calisthenics, like seven years ago, I didn't really care about being big. All I care about is being the ripper's guy and having the most, like, you know, the most cut up abs. It's a very good privilege and I don't take it as a granted. That's why my diet, everything, strict. I'm like, people ask me, what do you eat? You know, I tell them, I train people. That's what I do too, you know, when I'm not, you know, working with kids and stuff, I train people. Yeah. What's the hardest part about this sport? The hardest part about it is like on days when it's raining, snowing outside, you're like, oh man, I don't, I don't want to do this. But you know, you're like, you know, this is why my name, this is how I got the name and I got to go outside and go jogging or, or if it's like 10 degrees outside, you still go outside and run. And the running is paying off as Abs continues to strive for dominance in the Calisthenics Champions Tour. I use like how I was living in Guyana for inspiration, like how I was hungry over there. I tell myself, if I come to America, I'm gonna be very hungry for success.